This morning we want to talk about uh, a question that we get a lot. We get emails and phone calls and, and uh, letters uh, asking what tooth spacing, tooth spacing should I use. And uh, we've talked about different tooth spacings I think in the past, but uh, to try to be more specific I'm going to talk about uh, for, for the sawmill uh, industry. Uh, really, uh, we, we use a couple of tooth spacings, seven eighths and, and one inch. And those are the most popular tooth spacings out there. And ultimately, uh, all of this stuff has to do with, uh, number one, is your, is your meal set up correctly? And we're going to do that in some future videos about the tilt of the wheel and the tension on your blade and, and uh, uh, just a lot of different things. Uh, how to know that you've got your meal set up with your roller guides, are they in proper shape? There's a lot of things we'll talk about in the near future, uh, probably out of sawmill. But um, in general, the principle is seven eighths is, it would be on an inch and a quarter wide blade. Uh, and it has a lot to do with horsepower. Of course, you've got to have a sharp blade too. But uh, the horsepower, uh, your, your 7 8 tooth spacing uh, gets a little bit smaller bite. The narrower the tooth spacing, the smaller the uh, amount of tooth bite you get, the smaller piece of sawdust we talked about recently. Um, so on a, say, a 10 horsepower or even lower, but 10 horsepower, you don't find many sawmills with less than that up to say a 30 or 35 horsepower motor uh, if you're running an inch and a quarter blade the 7 8 2 spacing is is what you're going to do now I'll mention uh, a couple of different blades in that you can have 7 8 with different hook angles we have the XL uh, blade and we have the super sharp blade they have a little different hook angle a little different tooth ge geometry and uh, if you have a well set up sawmill and again, we'll talk about in a future video, uh, you want to go with a super sharp blade. More penetration, better cutting. But we find that uh, if, you're, if the meal is not set up as perfectly, and I, I'm not talking about 100% perfect, but in the 95% range, uh, you can use that. And that's the blade you want to use because it's just faster. But if your blade is not and you haven't spent the time, or, or maybe you don't even want to spend the time to, to make sure everything's in, in uh, perfect working order, uh, you have to saw a little bit slower. And we find the XL blade um, with a li little different geometry uh, is better for that. But then when we get up into a more of a production uh, line where you're, you're doing that 30 horsepower and up uh, uh, engines or motors, uh, I'll say a little thing about the electric motor usually uh, seems to, you know how they do ratings on horsepower, but electric motors seem to have a little more power than, than a diesel. It has to do with the governing and what have you. Uh, so sometimes you can go with a little bit smaller electric motor versus the diesel or, or gas engine even. But when you get above the 30, 35 horsepower range, then we like to see in the inch and a half blade and up to the two inch blade, we like to go to that one inch uh, tooth spacing. You can look at it sometimes on hardness of wood, you can use a little wider tooth spacing, but, but in general, the one inch and the seven eighths is what you're looking at, and it has to do with the horsepower. If you go with a wider tooth spacing with low horsepower, it just lugs down because you're getting a bigger bite, and uh, it, it just doesn't work out well. Another thing is if you, if you use high horsepower with a narrower, narrower blade and a wider tooth, it tends to stretch. Uh, everybody pretty well knows that we believe in rolling and keeping a blade flat in the cut. Uh, we've just proven it thousands of times, so it's more than a belief to us. It's, it's actual reality because we've done it. But it, because of the beam strength here, the wider the tooth you get, then the more you stretch the metal of this blade off. And uh, you'll see that when we show you the tensioner. Uh, that it actually, when you tension up a blade, you actually stretch this blade. Well, that's happening in the cut, and when you jam into the end of the log, it stretches the blade, and everything has to be in place uh, for that to work properly. But essentially, inch and a quarter blade, seven eighths tooth spacing works well, 10 horsepower up to around 30 horsepower. Larger than that, uh, in the wider blade, one in, uh, inch and a half blade, especially in the 050, we like to go to the uh, one inch wide two spacing and then and, and with a two inch blade, of course, the one inch wide two spacing.